from an early age it was Teresa's ambition and desire to be a saint. She was born into a pious and loving Catholic family. She remembers the idol of her early childhood, spending time with her parents and five sisters in the unspoiled French countryside. However this early childhood idol was broken by the early death of her mother from breast cancer. Aged only four years old, she felt the pain of separation, and instinctively turned to the Virgin Mary for comfort and reassurance. The next couple of years of St. Therese's life was a period of inner turmoil. She was unhappy at school, where her natural precociousness and piety made other school children jealous. Eventually her father agreed for Therese to return home and be taught by her elder sister, Colline. She enjoyed being taught at home, however after a while, her eldest sister made a decision to leave to enter the local Carmel convent at Lijou. This made Therese feel like she had lost her second mother. Shortly afterwards Therese experienced a painful illness in which she suffered delusions. The doctors were at a loss as to the cause. For three weeks she suffered with a high fever. Eventually Therese felt completely healed after her sisters placed a statue of the Virgin Mary at the foot of the bed. Therese felt her health and mental state return to normal very quickly. Soon after on Christmas Eve 1884, she recounts having a remarkable conversion of spirit. She says she lost her inclination to please herself with her own desires. Instead she felt a burning desire to pray for the souls of others and forget herself. She says that on this day, she lost her childhood immaturity, and felt a very strong calling to enter the convent at the unprecedented early age of 15. St. Therese with Pope Initially the church authorities refused to allow a girl, who was so young to enter holy orders. They advised her to come back when she was 21 and grown up. However Teresa's mind was made up, she couldn't bear to wait, she felt God was calling her to enter the cloistered life. Teresa was so determined she traveled to the Vatican, to personally petition the Pope. Breaking protocol she spoke to the Pope asking for permission to enter a convent. Soon after, her heart's desire was fulfilled, and she was able to join her two sisters in the Carmelite convent of Lijou. Convent life was not without its hardships, it was cold and accommodation was basic. Not all sisters warmed to this 15-year-old girl. At times she became the subject of gossip, one of her superiors took a very harsh attitude to this young spoiled middle class girl. However Therese sought always to respond to criticism and gossip with the attitude of love. No matter what others said, Therese responded by denying her sense of ego. Eventually the nun who had criticized Therese so much said, Why do you always smile at me? Why are you always so kind? Even when I treat you badly love attracts love, mine rushes forth unto thee, it would fain fill up the abyss which attracts it. But alas, it is not even as one drop of dew lost in the ocean. To love thee as thou lovest me I must borrow thy very love, 
then only can I find rest. This was the little way which Therese sought to follow. Her philosophy was that, what was important was not doing great works, but doing little things with the power of love. If we can maintain the right attitude then nothing shall remain that can't be accomplished. Saint Therese was encouraged by the elder nuns to ask her to write down her way of spiritual practice. She wrote three books that explained her little way and also included her personal spiritual autobiography. The good God does not need years to accomplish his work of love in his soul, one ray from his heart can, in an instant, make his flower bloom for eternity. Saint Therese died tragically early at the age of 24, from tuberculosis. However after her death, the writings became avidly read by, first other nuns, and in the wider Catholic community. Although initially intended only for a small audience her books have been frequently republished. In 1997 St. Therese was declared one of the three doctors of the Catholic Church. Thus after her death she was able to achieve her intuitive feeling that she would be able to do something great and help save souls. Saint Therese was canonized by Pope Pius XI on May 17, 1925, only 26 years after her death. O glorious Saint Therese, whom Almighty God has raised up to it and counsel mankind, I implore your miraculous intercession. So powerful are you in obtaining every need of body and soul our Holy Mother Church proclaims you a prodigy of miracles, the greatest saint of modern times. Now I fervently beseech you to answer my petition and to carry out your promises, of spending heaven doing good upon the earth, of letting fall from heaven a shower of roses. Henceforth, dear little flower, I will fulfill your plea to be made known everywhere, and I will never cease to lead others to Jesus, through you. Saint Therese, the little flower. Please pick me a rose from the heavenly garden and send it to me with a message of love. Ask God to grant me the favor I thee implore and tell him I will love him each day more and more. Dear little flower of Lijou, how wonderful was the short life you led. Though cloistered, you went far and wide through fervent prayers and great sufferings. You obtained from God untold helps and graces for his evangelists. Help all missionaries in their work, and teach all of us to spread Christianity in our own neighborhoods and family circles. O little flower of Jesus, ever consoling troubled souls with heavenly graces, in your unfailing intercession I place my trust. From the heart of our blessed Savior petition these blessing of which I stand in greatest need shower, upon me your promised roses of virtue and grace, dear Saint Therese, so that swiftly advancing in sanctity, and in perfect love of neighbor, I may someday receive the crown of eternal life. Amen.